Thanks for hitting play on Average Dave's Cards in this video. I'm going to open up a little bit of Gypsy Queen. Uh, I am a big fan of Gypsy Queen. It is definitely more of a collector's set though than an investor's set. Um, that being said, the inserts are really cool. Um, I think the autographs are some of the best looking autographs uh, in all the hobby. Um, so it's a fun rip. Um, little, well, not, I wouldn't say this year, but they used to have the exclusive greens come in um, cellos or value packs as of like two years ago. And I think last year they changed that to just being in the blasters. This year they continue on. Um, a couple years ago they also had like Megas and uh, value packs, like I said. I think they discontinued those. I think they have, this might only come in blasters now. Blasters and hobby boxes, so a little bit of a changing there. And still some of the toughest packs to open. I'll bring out the trusty knife here. Haven't made any content in a while. It's kind of been kind of been tough sledding with the um, what's out there and what's available. So I'm trying to save up money for Prism Football, hopefully. But I had to open up a little bit of this just because I am a big fan of it. And I think we got a short print off the bat. Yeah, cards 301. It's either 300 or 301 to 320 are all short prints. So a Griffey short print, a cool one to get there. So, and then our first green is Berrios, Choi, and Raphael Devers, who's having an incredible year. I doubt it, but always a good idea to check the backs in case you get a bazooka back. Gypsy Queen, kind of a sneaky set with all the um, like logo swaps and different colored inks and um, bazooka backs. So it keeps you on your toes. So we have Brantley, Bieber, Javier, Shoei, our green coming up, Caprillion, Kremer, and Espanol. I will be honest, I have not watched enough of this to... It's kind of a different color. I don't think it's a variation though. No, it has the same numbers though. Um... To see if there is like a wander, a card that precedes wander, kind of like um, Corbin Burns did in Series 1. And there's something in Heritage too that preceded wander. So I don't know if they've done Gypsy Queen this year. Alright, we've got Gardner, Pujols, Dahlbach, Jesus Sanchez, who crushed like a 497 foot home run into the, the third deck. Weathers is on our green, Nola, and Boat. Grandal, Machado, Smith, and that fell out. We'll get to that in a second. Will Smith on the green, Haniger, and McCutcheon. All right, so this was our insert. One of the cooler inserts got a little bit of shine to it. Uh, Tim Anderson of the White Sox, the GQ Gems. So, cool card there. Well, that's another thing. I think these have the, um, like, a Field of Dreams uh, insert set from the Yankees White Sox game. So that's pretty cool. Sean Murphy. Mr. October, Chris Sale, Patino, our green story, Colorado, Plesak, and Mancini. Yeah, whenever I get like a dud pack, I think I'm missing something. Like maybe that's the uh, bazooka back or something. Rookie there of Ashby. Pro 4, Votto, Eloy Jimenez, one of my guys, so that's cool. And we got something different there on the Pete Alonso. 
sort of different color, like a sky blue or a teal or something. Hopefully it's numbered. It is out of 199, so not a bad one to get there. It was pretty cool listening to him on, uh, not last Sunday, not last night Sunday, but uh, Sunday before. He was mic'd up for Sunday Night Baseball. Just seems like a good dude. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, Kim on the green and uh, Mr. No Hitter there, Dittmers. All right, last pack. Let me know what you guys think of Gypsy Queen. Are you guys opening up any of it? Are you guys fans of it? I hold now for bigger and better things like Topps Chrome when it comes out, which is going to be ridiculous. What are your thoughts on Series 2 for uh, Topps having none of the big rookies? Oh, an auto too. Yeah, GQ autos, autos are amazing. So what's that in the corner there? Top certified. I don't believe it would be numbered. They drop it. Got the drops this one. So yeah, William Contreras auto. Very cool. And then Daz Cameron and Dominic Smith. So yeah, that was pretty good. We got a short print Griffey. We got a numbered Alonzo. We got an auto. Uh, no wanders, but that was a that was a very good blaster of GQ, I feel like. So um, thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye for now.